Hey, what up, Dodgers Nation? DMAC here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Yadier Alvarez is back with the Dodgers. They made another minor league signing as well. We're going to dive into that in just a second. But quick reminder, for all latest Dodgers news and rumors, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you're going to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Is the Dodgers bringing back Yadier Alvarez something, nothing, or everything? And do you think he can ever finally realize his potential? And what are your thoughts, if any, on the Dodgers apparently bringing in Ty Kelly? So let me know down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So hopefully one of these days we can get back to talking about big league signings. Hopefully we'll be talking about the Dodgers signing Freddie Freeman or making big impact trades. But unfortunately, if you're watching this, you understand the lockout is still ongoing. Today's a big day for the MLB lockout. If they don't find a way to get a deal done today, you can kiss a full 162 game regular season goodbye. So we're going to keep you up to date on all that. So watch for the details. But thankfully, we do have some Dodgers acquisition to discuss and some that may impact the team down the line. Now today we're going to discuss the Dodgers bringing back right-handed pitcher Yadier Alvarez. Now if you remember back in 2015, the Dodgers they made a big investment in him. They paid him $16 million and then they had to pay an additional $16 million as a penalty for going over the international salary cap. So they had $32 million invested in him and unfortunately he just never panned out. In 2017, it looked promising he made the minor league all-star team at one point he was ranked as the number 26 overall prospect by baseball america and then in 2018 he pitched 48 and thirds innings for double a tulsa he posted a 4.66 era a 1.655 whip the strikeout numbers they were there he had a 30 percent k percentage but he did have command issues a 20 percent walk rate the command issues were real they tried to correct them but really just not able to just find the zone consistently enough to really justify bringing him up. Now, they did place him on the 40-man roster before the 2019 season, but he just was never able to just realize his potential in this Dodgers organization. In 2019, he was injured. He pitched just three and two-thirds innings for Double A Tulsa, and he was DFA'd in March of 2020. And of course, he didn't have the minor league season in 2020. So yeah, signing him back in 2015 was a risk, and Right now, he does look like a bust, but the good news is the fact that he's still relatively young. He turned 26 last Tuesday, and also the fact that he's fallen so far and he's not on a big league roster, it allows him to show this Dodgers organization what he has, so he's not affected by the MLB lockout. So if you're Alvarez, there's a huge opportunity for you because we know he has the potential. We know he has the stuff. You're talking about a heater that ranges from 94 to 97 miles per hour. He can hit triple digits. He has a change-up slider curveball combination for him it's just about the command and just putting it all together and harnessing that and if you're the Dodgers you have a head start in this reclamation project look the Dodgers they're used to dumpster diving all around the league finding other organizations bus other organizations prospects that didn't pan out and finding a way to optimize them when they join this Dodgers organization turning water into wine well with Alvarez they have the familiarity they already know the thing they need to address so I think if you're the Dodgers you're really in a good spot if you can find a way to just take all of his talent and get to the bottom of some of his command issues so I think this is a very intriguing development for the Dodgers I don't anticipate him being a huge impact player for LA in 2022 but maybe down the line they can find a way to make him serviceable and see if they can help him realize his potential now Bill Pedro but Bill Plunkett he tweeted out the Yadier Alvarez story continues High bonus right-handed was signed out of Cuba in 2015. Highly ranked as Dodgers prospect, but never developed. DFA'd in spring 2020. He's in camp again this spring among those who threw bullpen session today. So he is in camp and we'll see how he develops. So if you ask me right now, is Alvarez something, nothing or everything? I would say right now you could probably say it's nothing, but there is the potential for it to be something down the line. So we'll have to wait and see because you can't ignore his potential. 
potential. He definitely has some stuff that really make you think, hey, if he can figure it out, he could help this club. Now, the Dodgers apparently made another signing. Now, this hasn't been confirmed, but Ty Kelly tweeted it out himself. So I guess you have to believe it. He tweeted, it's so crazy that I signed with the Dodgers and have never liked or rooted for the Giants. And you don't have to check my old tweets because I think Tim Lincecum is not cool and Buster Posey is mean. So that's a great way to ingratiate yourself in this Dodgers community with this Dodgers fan base. Now, Ty Kelly's mainly a left fielder, has played some second base. You can be used as a pinch hitter. He is a switch hitter. He's played in 118 big league games and for his career, he's slashing 203, 288, 323 with a 611 OPS, has three big league home runs in his career. Last play with the Mets back in 2018, just 12 plate appearances, had a 258 OPS, and then in the minor leagues last year, he played 24 games with the Tacoma Rainiers, that's the Mariners AAA affiliate, and he hit 227 with a 670 OPS. So this one, I think it's going to be definitely a long shot for him to be an impact player for the Dodgers, of course, but hey, you got to know everything about your boys in blue. But let me know down below in the comment section, is Yadier Alvarez getting back with the Dodgers something, nothing or everything do you think he can ever realize his potential or do you think he'll be a Dodgers bust and also what do you think about that tweet I think Ty Kelly's tweet was on the money killed it with that one I'm loving that but let me know down below my name is Doug McCain you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA for all latest Dodgers news and rumors be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and if you're going to see us post even more Dodgers content smash that like button really helps out the channel for all latest Dodgers Nation merch head over to gearup.la some of the best Dodgers teacher designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. Download the new Dodgers Nation app for my Android and iPhone users. For all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.